As many as 6,500 men, women and children in southern Nevada confronted the setting sun just a little while ago, wondering where they would sleep until the sun comes up again. That's more than three times the number of seats in the Smith Center Las Vegas as represented here behind me. Three times. Well, tonight we continue asking why a bill designed to raise money to help these folks ended up gutted in Carson City. We're following the money and holding the powerful accountable tonight, asking this question. Who gutted Assembly Bill 73 and why? Did you kill the bill? Uh, I amended the bill. I didn't kill it. Assemblywoman Dina Neal was not about to let a City of Las Vegas bill designed to pay to fix homelessness in Las Vegas pass in Carson City. She's the name Las Vegas City leaders would not name as to who drew lines through most of their bill. You're naming names and you're saying you're the name. I am the name. I mean, I think everybody's trying to be polite. AB 73 in its original form was a robust 2,289 word plan to raise money through real estate and sewer fees to pay for services and affordable housing for people like Eric, who works but can't afford a roof over his head. Eric, where will you go tonight? After work, I will come back to the courtyard and sleep here tonight. Under the stars? Yes. Eric will have to wait under those stars because of what happened to Assembly Bill 73. Assemblywoman Dina Neal says she's the one who shrunk the bill to a 406-word directive for the county, North Las Vegas, Henderson, and the city of Las Vegas to form committees, to have more meetings, and to generate a report for a region-wide plan to end homelessness and how to pay for it. It was a hard choice. It was. There were people who came to the table upset. I can't believe you gutted this bill. And I'm like, well... I think I'm doing the right thing. Neil says the city's bill didn't have an end date to the taxes and fees millions of people would have paid. And she says it had no specific plan for how to spend the money, even though the bill's language does say funding for support services and affordable housing for persons who are homeless. Is that not specific enough? No. Nobody gets to be a hero, okay? All of the entities need to come together. And they are coming together. Neil says Henderson, North Las Vegas, the city of Las Vegas, and Clark County are hammering out ways to be of one mind by an October 2020 deadline. How do you know by October when the report is due that anybody is going to be able to get to one mind on this issue? If you come back to me and say after a year, I don't have, we don't have money, we couldn't figure it out. I'm probably going to have a moment. And so will Bob Coffin, who fought to see AB 73 pass before it got amended. He says while leaders meet over more months, people like Eric could die. We lost about 200 and some people on the streets just from exposure or from perhaps a, an assault, but, but nothing that made the newspapers. So you're saying there's a body count to waiting? Of course there is. And can we afford to wait? No. We cannot afford to wait. I pray that God finds a, help find a solution, help the people that are the powers to be to find a valuable situation to figure out how we can do this. So we're watching to see how well leaders comply with the mandate to come up with a plan in compliance with AB 73. We've interviewed people in Henderson, Las Vegas, leaders at Clark County, and we're still waiting for North Las Vegas leaders to agree to an on-camera interview. We welcome your voicemails and your emails on this or any other subject related to homelessness in our valley. The number is right there on your screen. Back to you.